What's up guys, my name is Vilush Rutebert, welcome to another snooker training video tutorial. If it is your first time here and you want to improve your snooker skills, hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon so that you won't miss out on another video. Let's talk about the most difficult bridge, is when the QO is just off the cushion or slightly off the cushion. So when you're playing such a shot, uh, you have to understand But if you will stand level, you will hear the sound which you hear of the cushion. You see, you don't want to hear that. So you have to make sure that your elbow lifts up a little bit and then in this way you can deliver Q uh, in more consistent way. I always put my uh, hand a little bit closer to the Q to feel more comfortable. I use my index finger thumb to for the stability. And now what I only think what I have to do is deliver Q on the straight line. This time my aiming was a little bit off, so I, I talked too much. So I would try to again without talking. And remember, because you're playing only with the top spin, there is no way you can play backspin. So don't have any illusion that you can play with backspin from here. Only top spin, only top spin. So putting my right arm a little bit closer to my cue. Make sure that I'm aiming to stay to the center and push to the line. I always in balance. When I'm playing up the cushion, I don't try to stand too close to the table like this because I, I will stand too high and I will feel uncomfortable. I don't try to stand too far away like this because you will have too much tension on your left leg. So if you stand too far away, you will put too much tension on your left leg and uh, this is not good for the queuing and uh, your comfort. So the distance between is the most optimal distance uh, to do your short approach and stand in the most comfortable way. And this is how you have to play off the cushion shots. There is some couple of off the cushion shots which are not uh, very comfortable and people are struggling with it. For example, shot like this. So basically what you have to do is to put fingers into the cushion like this. You see how I hold. Like uh, my index finger helps me to uh, feel the cue from, and i holding my fingers to the cushion so I feel safety. I, f I feel, you know, comfortable and stable. So I can still deliver the cue on the straight line without any problems. There, there are some interesting and complicated bridges. Like uh, when you're playing uh, shots uh, from here, when you feel a little bit uncomfortable, you can play with such a bridges. But I, I find this, I find this bridge a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but some people like that. So you can use it as well if you want it. If you're playing shots from this part of the table, in my opinion, this part of the table is the most complicated because it's very difficult to use a stable bridge because from here Q moves without very easily. So you have to form a really, really solid bridge hand. So when you do your shot approach, make sure, because I have to put my two fingers uh, upper cushion and somehow I have to be extremely, you know, precise. So I have to bend my uh, arm slightly to have more through, follow through here and aim center cue ball. You see, it's not that easy, uh, even for professionals. So you have to be extremely precise. Okay, so make sure that your left arm is slightly bent. Don't try to hold it like this because you won't have a form a solid bridge hand. Bend your left arm and you will be okay. Bend your arm slightly because it will make your bridge hand a little bit more stable and consistent. If you will hold your uh, left arm straight, you will have a problems and your bridge will move a lot. So make it stable like this and you will 
for sure feel much, much more comfortable during the queue delivery and feathering. That's it about bridge hands. So guys, what do you think about this video? Did you learn something new and beneficial? Please leave your comments in the description below and let me know what would you like to see next time. It was Willy Schultebert. Thank you for watching. Until next time.